Any other uh, comments? Yes, yes. Uh, Detlef, um, probably we uh, have uh, one or two minutes to uh, readdress one thing which I mentioned yesterday in, in my uh, presentation on the BPS work and uh, related to the uh, products. So on my last slides, I had some issues uh, which are probably uh, quite important for discussion for future direction of IAG. Uh, the Odyssey is providing very valuable products uh, which are really important basis for uh, climate change studies, etc. So for example, sea, sea level variations, ice mass variations, uh, groundwater uh, obs uh, observations. And so the question is whether IAG should take over a role to, to think about a, a service to, to organize all this, this very important product. I think a good good example, which I also mentioned yesterday, is ICGEM for providing a data uh, products ar uh, archive for static and time variable global uh, gravity field models. And I think this is very user user friendly to have such an access to to these products and also the products provided uh, are visible, DOIs are uh, available for all these products. And so the question is of if we should think about uh, some kind of service also for sea level products or ice mass variations. And uh, we al already had long, long years discussion on the uh, international altimetry service. So the question is of if we should readdress this. So uh, I, uh, do you have any comments related to these issues or suggestions? Yeah, this is Mike Perlman. I mean, we, we've talked about the idea of, a, of an altimetry service. I mean, this seems to go back as far, far back as I can remember, as soon as we actually uh, came out with the concept of services. Uh, and there was a lot of discussion then, and uh, uh, you know, maybe, maybe somebody can resurrect some some of that. Uh, I mean, it really had to do with the, the, the nature of the measurements and uh, how the how the, the data was uh, available uh, and, and et cetera. But uh, you know, if somebody you know maybe will remember some of the details, that may be useful. Hello, everyone. Is the question regarding the altimetry service? Yes. Yeah, actually, we were not successful in the past. Uh, different attempts and uh, various uh, initiatives were taken since maybe, I would think, uh, 20 years to get uh, an altimetry service to work or to be established. Unfortunately, this, is, uh, this did not happen. Recently, within the IAG Executive Committee, we discussed that point a number of times. And the conclusion is we put a kind of a working group, or I don't remember exactly the terminology of that, maybe Richard and Harald can remember better than me. Uh, we put a kind of a group to think about it and to come back to the IAG Executive Committee with a, a proposal for discussion. But up to time, uh, up to now, that was not successful, and a number of the, the participants to this meeting may remember uh, the uh, tentative, I mean, the initiative in the past, and uh, even uh, Detlef is uh, talking about it. it. It goes back to the time of uh, your colleague who is now retired. What is his name? Botch? Wolfgang. Yeah, Wolfgang. Yeah. I think he was so, not working on this issue, but was yeah, not successful. So that, yeah. that, that is the situation now, and I think CK Shum and others within the Commission 2 are trying to um, come uh, to uh, think about a kind of uh, a proposal to have a service. But in the meantime, as we know all, uh, if you want to have a service, you have to follow the examples of the other IAG services we have. A, 
12 IAG services, and you need the really to come up with the group who is willing uh, to do the work. Thanks, Lua, for your, your comments. Uh, so, uh, uh, yeah, regarding other other type of uh, services, as you mentioned, uh, uh, Detlef, it's the same situation. If uh, a group of people is really willing to come up with a structure within the IAG, uh, uh, within the IAG structure, we, we can think about it, but that should be probably uh, worked, uh, prepared, and proposed to the IAG executive committee for for discussion and in the future if we and you need a, some institution to uh, to comment to do the work itself because if it is a product then it is something that you need to do uh, to do routinely and this will imply uh, I mean uh, investment by the institution who will uh, I mean, uh, commit to uh, serve as, I don't know, data center, analysis center, and product center, or, or etc. So you have to put a full structure, but behind that, in the background, you have to have institutions who will support that and put money for that. And nowadays, yeah. it's not that easy, you know that. But and of course, IAG would, would, would agree to, to, to establish uh, services or entities who would provide products for, for science and society. Yeah, Maybe you I are not certainly briefly... right with that, what you are... Ah, all right, I don't want to interrupt yeah. you. I, I can briefly comment. Indeed, several attempts have been made in the past to establish an altimetry service, uh, which never have been successful. And yesterday I learned there was a recent publication in ASR of an altimetry team, and I'm really curious to see the content of this publication, and maybe we can use it as a basis for creating uh, such an international altimetry service. In general, I also agree with you, Detlef, there would be other potential products for which we could have a service, but the lesson that we learned is we, it always has to be a bottom-up approach. It has to be, it has to come from the community. <clears throat> if it is a top-down approach, it's not going to be successful. If it's a bottom-up approach and the people understand we have to join and maybe produce the best possible um, um, joint uh, product, then it can be successful. And I would fully support if there are more products that uh, could be uh, provided within such a service, or maybe several services. Yeah. Okay, thanks for your comment on that, Harald. I fully agree with that. Uh, so my, my intention was mainly to stimulate this kind of, of discussion, because I, I, I really see a big uh, potential for geodesy to become more visible if if we if we would become successful to pro provide also products which are very essential for for issues that are of high relevance for society. And yeah, but the bottom line, uh, Detlef, is to have a group of people uh, willing to do that, and you need to start the work. I mean, a kind of pilot project uh, or a steering committee or something like that, and uh, to try to gather other other potential people who want to work on that and then to construct uh, something that might be uh, i mean in the future be uh, the the start of a service or an, an entity within within the IAG okay thank thank you very much for for your comments i uh, will also think more about this this issue yeah if you know people who wants to do such a kind, I mean, to build a kind of service in the future, yeah, just to ask them to start to think about it, and you need to them to uh, to commit to do that in the in the future. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. <clears throat>